what's going on guys it's William Bootsy Blandon um, I just left uh, Stanford Norwalk got me stopped and got me some famous pizza in Norwalk every time I go to Norwalk I have to stop and get some famous pizza it's my original hometown and some people argue whether or not it's the best pizza but it's one of my favorites in Norwalk, so I have to stop. I had to get a small. And now I'm heading back through Bridgeport. This is the day after the storm. Um, a lot of trees down. I did get probably, I only really did like six rides today. That's incredible on uh, Uber. And I managed to pick up $108 with only six rides. So, if you ask me, that was a pretty productive day, pretty fair day. Only six rides, $108. And if it wasn't for this traffic, I probably would be out here longer. I'm not going to lie. I probably would have kept driving until at least six, seven. But with this traffic the way it is, I'm just going to pack it up. Uh, head back to Bridgeport for the day but I just wanted to give you guys a little quick little ride take a ride with me to from Norwalk to Bridgeport Connecticut and let you see how the uh, traffic is on the highway it's about 5 30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time the day after the big storm and I'm just gonna uh, take my leisurely time you know do this video and uh, take some nice relaxing ride home nothing big people always hit me in the comments that I should be blurring out the uh, plates of other cars there's really nothing you could do with somebody's plate to scam them so I don't understand the mentality of that. Yeah, you could look somebody up and see probably who owns that car, but big deal. If they're a criminal, I'm actually helping you. You know what I'm saying? So I don't, I never understood that. I guess legally I should be blurring out plates, but you're not really invading anybody's privacy unless you guys are that much losers that you're going to look at somebody's plate, run it just to see who would happen to be in front of me in a video. I mean, that's pretty idiotic, I must say. <coughs> Excuse me. I love doing these taking a ride videos, honestly. For one, the camera's not focused on me, and um, you're getting an inside look of what it's like in the Connecticut area if you're not from here to see what I-95 somewhat looks like. Granted, I don't think the traffic is this bad all the time. Um, it's kind of hard to tell between COVID and that last storm. But, you know, today it seems like a little bit overwhelming with the traffic. It was a lot of accidents. I saw quite a few accidents. If you're an Uber and Lyft driver, um, definitely be careful out there. It can get crazy. Um, so many trees are down. One lady had to cancel on her because everywhere I turned to try to get to her house, there was a down tree. Literally three roads that lead to this lady's house had not only trees down, but the trees blocked the entire road. One tree was on top of the uh, electrical pole wires blocking the entire street. That was, that was really nuts. And definitely not worth my time to keep driving around, driving around to try to get to her. And I think it was only like a six minute ride. Like, no sense killing yourself to get a six minute ride. Now, granted, I only had six rides today and made $108. The very first ride was like literally 30 minutes away. So, if that gives you an example, 
and pretty much every ride I had today was between 15 and 20 minutes away. Not just the pickup, the pickup was actually close. The actual rides were 15 to 20 minutes. There's not a lot of drivers out here, guys, during this pandemic. That's why I said it's the perfect side hustle if you're trying to build a revenue stream to fund a business like I'm doing. I'm using my Uber and Lyft funds to fund my business, my holding company. If you're at all interested in hearing more about that, go over to my main channel, Chenaya Business. Uh, below this video, I will have a link to that where I talk about not only building a holding company, but I talk about um, building corporate credit, stuff like that. Just a lot of ways that you can uh, pick up some extra dough in this pandemic to fund a holding company. Because let's be honest, your job is not guaranteed. If you, if nobody's ever told you that, I'm going to tell you that. Your job's not guaranteed, especially in this pandemic. you got to create your own economy, start your own business. And um, thank God I've managed to pull that off lately. But uh, even when I was trying to do a, a job in this pandemic... One job I just had got like uh, like a month before the end of the world, and um, they shut down everything. Granted, I still got two checks out of them, um, which I was very much appreciative. But you know, it's still I was still a part-time job. Um, I went to a group home, did that for a while. Nothing exciting. Um, I did meet some good people. Um, the clients were decent. I can't really complain about the job. But it was a part-time job. And it wasn't going to uh, pay me enough for my lifestyle. But at the time that I got the group home job, Uber and Lyft was dramatically slowing down. Look at the trees. Uber and Lyft was dramatically slowing down. So I was like, let me try this out soon realized that I could go back to Uber and Lyft driving because a lot of Uber and Lyft drivers were, believe it or not, home. Some were collecting, I'm assuming. So I was like, let me get back at it. Let me go back into transportation. But this time around, I set up my holding company. I'm going to take my transportation earnings, put it into my holding company. From there, I will set up an operating company to actually function as a transportation company, you know, and then funnel money from my operating transportation company back up to the holding company. That's the type of stuff I'm talking about on Chennai Business. Um, my channel, William Bootsy Blandon, I kind of just did for fun. As you can see, I just do videos about my day-to-day -day stuff and stuff that I'm just doing for fun. But I feel it's opportunity to send some traffic to my other channel. So that's what I'm doing. And also give you guys an opportunity to see what I'm doing on my day-to-day. -day. You know, good or bad days, whatever. But Uber and Lyft is not necessarily the best full-time job. But I'll give you an example. Even in this pandemic, I'm able to pull off, on average, about $100 to $120 a day. That's You do the math. That's better than some full-time jobs out here. And if you're driving seven days a week, that's over $700. You know, even if it's like $120 a day... You take out 20 for maintenance and gas, and you got a pretty decent revenue stream that could fund a holding company. You know, something to think about. So if you're at all interested in that, do check the links below this video. And I hope to do uh, more travels like this, and 
hopefully I can start doing these in other countries when this COVID crap is over because I really want to give you guys a nice experience of me driving in different places, different areas, showing you how I make some side money and um, trying to enjoy my life in this uh, end of the world pandemic, you know? But I hope to, uh, you guys watch, keep watching, support the channel. You will see some funny stuff on here, you know? Not necessarily always good for family viewing, but some decent fun. And uh, again, subscribe, like, comment, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Thank you.